How you doing everyone? Josh here with Ohio Fish Rescue. You guys know we've had a lot of fish in quarantine. Well, today's the day we feel comfortable that they can go ahead and join the rest of the crew. So we've got this frontosa, this African leaf fish, the silver dollars, some cichlids, some severums. That's actually a type of cichlid, I guess. We got these awesome, awesome catfish. So stick around and figure out where we're going to be putting these guys. Alright, so I got my handy dandy net. We are going to start off and just start grabbing them. Whichever one I see, that's the one we get. There's no picky choosy here. Here we go. This is a chocolate cichlid. Alright, now he is going to come over here in the thousand gallon and join the other chocolate cichlid. There you go, look at him. Beautiful fish. Now you guys will be able to see his colors. This is our other chocolate cichlid right here. You can see he's much older, but as they mature, they get that purple hue to them. Or, you know, they kind of look like chocolate. All right, let's go get another one. All right, what do we got? Don't bother Mr. Goonch. Here we go. This, ooh, ooh, this is a turquoise severum. Maybe this is the red shoulder. I can't really tell right now. Oh, he's fast. He's not liking me. It's so hard to see him. There we go. Bam! This is the red shoulder Severum. Now him, excuse my camera guy, you know, he, <laughs> he's not the smoothest one around, but he does honest work, I must say. So there we go. He's going to join the other Severums. So also in addition to this Blasio tank, 2200, uh, 1800, I'm sorry, look at me, I'm jumbling my words. All right, what's next? Uh-oh. This guy. So as you see, I catch them and I figure out where they can go. Look at that. He got out. All right. Tiger Silver Dollar. Here we go. Join all of your friends. Look at him. Oh, he's got like a yellowish greenish tint to him. That's pretty awesome. All right. Who else do we have? All right. Let's get this guy. I know where he's going. All right, you're gonna have to run with me. We got the Frontosa. All right, let's go. Can't run. All right, run and go. All right. Oh, what's up, little duckies? All right, here we go. Into your new home. Look at that, he fits right in. Alright, we got uh, cheese and quackers here. <laughs> Alright, let's go grab some more fish. <laughs> that was easy. All right. He's going to come in here and join the rest of the leaf fish. There we go. He is much smaller, but still big for a uh, leaf fish. Now, what we have left are these marvelous, these magnificent two beauties right there. We got the tigrinus, and we have the gooch catfish. So, my thoughts, come with me. 
So until we get the uh, exact tank set up for them, uh, that's going to be the 580. We've got plans to move those soon. It's going to be after I get back from vacation. So uh, I'm going to essentially try them in here. I'm going to take a few of the catfish out of here, bump them over to the 750 to make room for the tigrinus and the gooch in here. Now what that's going to allow me to test out is, you know, I wanted to make that man-eater tank. Is the jowl going to play nice with the gooch? Is the jowl going to play nice with the Paraiba, you know? So I can kind of test that out in here. And you know, not Nibbler, Hubert, hopefully he plays nice too, but I have a backup plan. I can also toss Hubert in the 3000. So this could potentially work out and it'll be on display right in your face. I can do, you know, some driftwood in here and make caves so they kind of feel a little bit more natural. We've got the water passing through. So uh, let's get to work. Alrighty, so to prepare first, I've got my net. What do I do with said net? Well, I'm going to catch some fish, of course. But I've got these two hybrids in here. I'm going to let them join the hybrid in the 750. I think that'll be the least invasive. Alright. Oh, lovely. Thanks, bud. I knew you loved me. Ugh. Would you stop it? I don't think he likes me. He splashed the crap out of me. Alright, let's grab another one. Oh. Alright, this guy here. He's got a little bit, bit of a, a dolphin mouth to him. So uh, he's a little bit deformed, but you know, everyone gets love here. But he is the biggest one that we have since our biggest guy passed away a while back. Woo! You saw that, right? I got it on camera too. Yeah, I know. That was crazy. That's why they're shovel head or shovel guns. That's what they do. Never turn it off. I turned it back on. We're good. All right, there. Oh, lovely. I just realized there's a big giant hole in the bottom of this net. That was from him trying to swim through it. He broke the net. So all you guys who donated, guys and gals, I'm sorry, who donated nets, we're already, you know. Want one down, so all the nuts you guys donated are definitely going to come in you. So, thank you very much. Now, uh, let's go get some more fish. All right, so for those of you that don't know, we are recording this on a Friday at 6 p.m. The live show starts in literally a half hour. This is what I'm out here doing. We're moving fish around. Because you know what? I don't have time. I got to do whatever I can whenever I have the time. And right now, this is what we're doing. So now, I'm going to grab these fish. I'm going to use the koi sock net so we don't uh, rip their fins. So that's why I got my stool so I can get above the tank. And we're going to see what we can do here. Alright. Oh, he doesn't want to come. He don't want to come. Woo! Might be harder than anticipated. This guy's a rocket. This ain't gonna work. Take two. Grab them a different net. Alright. Look at this wall of nets. I don't have an option. This floor is slippery. Alright. There we go. See how easy it was for him to just come up and out, out of this tank? He went right over that divider. This is one of the hardest type greenest ones I've ever had to catch. Okay, let's go, buddy. Alright, into 
their new home. Look at all that new room you got. So much room for activities. He looks a lot smaller in here. Yeah. All right, now I'm gonna have to keep a close eye on Hubert, so Hubert does not go after Gooch or the tight greenest. He has been good. Well, if I had new fish to a tank, you always have to keep an eye out. All right, let's go grab the goons. Come on, buddy. He thinks he's hiding. camera. Look at this guy. Oh, he's right there next to the jow. Look at that. Man-eater versus man-eater. That is a pretty sight right there. Right next to a gigantic Adonis Pleco. Next to a Tigritus catfish. Fly River Turtle. Hi, buddy. So he is actually healing up so nicely. His uh, back wounds almost completely healed over. These guys are closing up too. So very impressed with that. And on this side of the tank, we've got the Black Devil Catfish and the Wallago Leary. He is uh, a bit me messed up. He's got double gill curl, but he's still loved. He he's our boy. But it is so fun to feed the this tank. So. We gotta watch this guy, make sure he doesn't do any damage to the catfish. I don't think he will, but you always gotta keep an eye out. Super, super neat. All right, so I'm gonna get this tank cleaned back up. I'm gonna move this red tail that my dad temporarily put down there so we didn't have to restart the quarantine. Now that I moved these fish, he's going up into the 550. So I'm gonna get that done, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You got a little bit of a Inside on what we do here. The floors are soaking wet. It is a slip hazard. There goes Luke, the man behind the camera. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see more crazy videos from the Ohio Fish Rescue, you're just going to have to press that subscribe button. And as always, stay fishy, my friends.